never had a deer in the headlights experience this crazy because I'm not really a fan of like rock stars, movie stars, people like that. I like politics. And I'm sitting there during that 70 second break and Matt Drudge rounds the corner over here. Uh, and it was just like total and complete deer in the headlights. And I'm still double taking here. And then he's hiding over there in the shadows right now. I'm not kidding. They're going to say this is another conspiracy theory. And uh, we got Anthony Gucciardi. Is Matt Drudge over there? He is over there. Come on, just for a second to give the national media a heart attack. Can you just walk over here behind the stage? They're not going to believe it. Now, nope, see, it's, 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 it's right around this way. I haven't had one photo in eight years. I know you haven't had one photo in eight years. All right, I'm going to turn the mic your way. They can do voice print. Is this Matt Drudge? Uh-oh. I know. Okay, it's made up. It's a stunt. April Fool's came early. What, how many months early? Five months early? April Fool's, folks, I, I fooled you. Well, am I supposed to go to rebroadcast now that you're here? Because I mean, I, you get to hang out with my crew and I'm on the air. This is like diabolical. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, no, seriously. Do you think folks are going to believe Matt Drudge was here? Probably. I don't even believe he's here. I didn't believe it. Only because it's like it was like such short notice. It was like, boom. I remember years ago. Well, anyways, I'm not going to get into it. This is this is crazy. All right. Well, I'm not going to be aggressive and turn the lights on over there and aim the document cam over there. But Matt Drudge came in, said hi to me, thought it was a three minute break and then went over there. I'm definitely going to have to uh, play a clip or something. Do we have one of those special reports coming back from the next break? All right. This is this is now entered complete twilight zone. Um, Hey, but we got a new article up on InfoWars. Obama arms ISIS militants, pushes gun control on very same day. Obama authorizes uh, resupplying Syrian opposition on the same day he demands gun control against American citizens. And, of course, I was covering this Breitbart article a lot that I missed. I missed stuff all the time. I mean, I, I knew they were doing this, but I didn't know they were actually d openly doing it. Obama administration and U.N. announced global police force to fight extremism in U.S., and then we've got all these callers that want to talk to me. You know, Matt has hosted the, the Drudge Report uh, uh, show for so long, but also Rush Limbaugh. So I, I would imagine he could come over here and actually host the show for us, except he's not really here. What if we put a microphone into the darkness coming out of the break and, and folks can do a voice print analysis to see if it's Matt Drudge? He's not going to do it? I'm telling you, this is so classically reclusive. I wish I could do that. He is back there right now. It's taken a lot of work to get to this point. I know it's taken a lot of work to get to this point. I, I admire you. Maybe I should become reclusive. Huh? He's a big guy. Uh, in good shape, too. I was like, man, who is that big guy? Who is that? I recognize that guy. Who's that with him? I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> what did I look like, Buckley, when he walked in? I mean, I literally was like, who is that? You are something else, man. God, I tell you, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of class the way he pulls stuff off. I'm kind of the opposite, like a bull in a china shop, a loose cannon. Uh, anyways, I was already super wound up today. I've already had too many DNA forces today, and uh, this is now just pushing me over the edge. I need some Jack Daniels, Buckley, immediately. <laughs> I'm sure. I've, I've, I've not been drinking since last Thursday. I've been being a good boy. And uh, I've been being nice, but I tell you, I may have to. I, see, I, I, I don't have any, uh, what do you call them, tranquilizers. But I think I need a tranquilizer dart or something. All right, folks, we'll be right back. No, no, seriously, because I'm starstruck right now. This is crazy. And the way he did it is even worse. And then it's going to be even worse when they have, like, some major establishment White House-driven publication saying I made it all up. So we at least, well, we can't get a photo for Twitter. What are we going to do? The suspense is deafening. DrudgeReport.com, you can uh, read up there where this guy put stuff on his Facebook, the supposed shooter, uh, about how he just had so many pills he was on, psychotropics, lithium, uh, and other things, that he ended up just taking five at a time. So the question is, was he on meds? And the answer is, uh, does a bear, you know, do different things like jump rope in the woods? We'll be right back. All right, folks, Alex Jones here back live well into the third hour. I did not do this as a stunt. Neither did Matt Drudge. He is here. We got a hot mic over there. He wants to stay literally in the shadows behind a curtain. Uh, but this is the king of being able to push a story out and make it the number one story in the world. They even admit that in the New York Times that he has more readers on politics and news than Facebook, the New York Times, and the Washington Post, L.A. Times put together. 
He's got some of our stories uh, where the shooter himself said he was on a bunch of drugs. Uh, he's linked to that today. And that's the story they don't want out there or the story where CNN took a mixed racial Christian hater and turned him into a right wing white supremacist and turned him white. They don't want people knowing that, but Matt Drudge and his great crew can link to alternative stories, foreign stories, mainstream stories, photos, mug shots, and really just focus on what Matt Drudge thinks is interesting. And the public tends to agree with him that what he focuses in on is really catching the zeitgeist or the pulse of the people. So he might have 50 links every day where Facebook has 500 million, but he has more traffic. That is the true David versus Goliath story. And this is not scripted. I have no idea where I should go. Uh, Matt Drudge, I, I guess you're here for ACL, or why are you in Austin, Texas? <laughs> well, you were just talking about Facebook, and thanks again for having me here. Um, I'm not on Facebook. Um, I don't do the socials. I've got that little Twitter thing. Even that's kind of disgusting. You know, I've been doing the Internet as long as you've been doing this radio show, Alex, literally every day as you have Literally every day, practically. I think you've taken a little more time off than I have, actually. Yes, I've kind of gone. And I can't say that about many people because you are a peer without peer. And I'll tell you, I was there before Facebook. I was there for, before CNN.com. I was there before mostly all of them. I have a very clear perception what the Internet is in my mind. I'm free. I'm not defined by what they say the Internet is. Uh, meaning Goldman Sachs, meaning who they invest in for the latest startup, meaning the latest BuzzFeed or Salon or Gawker. All, well, Gawker's more independent. But there's a lot of corporate makeover of the Internet that I have not adapted to. Simply put, uh, I'm friends with some of them. When I go to New York, I make the Sixth Avenue rounds. But I am not a part of that system. I am a free thinker. I'm an American I'm very concerned with what's happening. So I just give it my all. I've learned how to take care of myself and detach from outcomes because otherwise you can't survive. And I don't know where you are on that topic. That's I just follow my instinct because they always tell us how to adapt to be successful, but really we're just adapting to their mindset to I be don't. their slaves. I don't. No, you don't. I have remained completely independent from all of them, all of them. I am not influenced by any of them. I need no traffic from Google. I don't care if I get one traffic refer referral from Google or Bing or Yahoo or any of these others. It's always been that way. Now, if you think of that setup, how rare that is, because everybody is so hungry for referrals, for likes, I don't need to be liked. I don't need to be liked at all. I don't care if there's a button right there at the top of Drudge saying like or dislike. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't mean anything. Now, I hope that you come. Doesn't mean you necessarily have to like what I have up there. Now, where I've had a lot of success is I'm getting people from both sides of the aisle. They've always said, oh, he's a right-wing gossip monger, mainly because of Lewinsky in those years, which, by the way, are back. Why aren't we seeing Hillary's lovers? Excuse me. Why aren't we seeing Hillary's lovers? It's a good question. Where's the cover up on this? So many issues that are suppressed on a daily basis. So that's what I try to do every morning. Incredible. Well, it's amazing to have you here in Austin, Texas. And I tell you, you certainly know how to make an entrance. I'm in a 70 second break and I turn around and there's Matt Drudge just boom. <laughs> I tell you, I almost had a heart attack, a good one. <laughs> My cousin said he's never seen me look like that. Uh, what was the word, Buckley, you used? Oh no, no, it's flabbergasted. <laughs> I was flabbergasted. You used the word flabbergasted. Well, I, I tell you, this is like the biggest Christmas present early ever because I just admire true independence. And I got to tell you, Matt, and you know this with your crew, and Congress knows this, we wouldn't have won some of these gun battles, some of these uh, border battles, some of these energy battles, and we've lost some too, but we would have lost so many of them if it wasn't for the focal point. And even the White House and the Democrats admit, because I know you're saying you're nonpartisan. I mean, I would guess you're more of a libertarian. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're just a freedom guy. I can't be controlled. I cannot be controlled. There are no interests here but what I see as the world events, period. That is the truth of the situation. Well, they hate the fact that they can't control the agenda. The Pentagon has briefings with the 
head of PSYOPs, as you know, saying we've got to stop Drudge changing the subject and showing when we're lying. I mean, that's when you know, that's, I mean, that's crazy town when you get, what is it like? Is it surreal to think back to something you started back in the early 90s has now grown into this? Well, no, because it's been every day. So it's just like, it's, it's happened so organically. It started with one reader. I don't know who that one reader was, but it started with one reader. I've never placed an ad anywhere, ever. This has all been a true organic reader to reader to reader to reader. Yes, I dabbled in the corporate with the Fox News show and the Clear Channel, sh uh, Clear Channel radio show for nine years. But even that, the website was on its own terms and remains so to this very minute. Well, you've only gotten bigger since uh, you stopped. Uh well, I don't know because this is another thing. W w the measurements that we have, this is another bogus thing. Yesterday they released on the APA wire. Twitter followers. Hillary is the queen of the Twitters with 4.9 million. They don't say how many are fake. They don't have say how many are. They droid. admit the first ladies is like 80% fake. Well, no, the AP did not do that, Alex. So this whole thing, this whole socials, these socials, you know, Beats One Music, which I'm obsessed with, which has been launched on Apple, uh, which is probably one of the best things they've done since Steve Jobs died. One radio station. Interesting. They don't know how many listeners they have. I heard some streams, they were down to 5,000 an hour. This whole social media stuff is bogus. Facebook, we have 2 billion users. This is garbage. This is designed to demoralize the individual. I'll never have 2 billion followers. The internet is what you make of it. It's the same battle as it was in the beginning. I remember having this argument with Britt Hume once live on C-SPAN. He goes, oh, the internet's all UFOs and... Uh, all this crap. And I said, no, the internet is what you make of it. In the beginning, they were dismissing the internet. They were poo-pooing it. And isn't that good for us that, 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 that for so long they were in arrogant denial? And they seem like they still kind of are in arrogant denial. No, on, on now they make it over in their image. Now it's these endless monotonous tweets. Meaningless. Meaningless. Uh, to me, it's just a lot of gnats, a lot of confusion. When the reality of the situation is life on earth has not changed. We need facts. We need events. We need specifics on things. Not all this confusion. It's almost they've made the internet over in their image, these corporations. And I think they're failing. Quite Skip frankly. the break. Skip the break. Oh, sorry, Matt. Go ahead. Uh, I had to interrupt. You say you think they're failing? I think they're failing to the point... This is a whole nother discussion on how sick are the American people right now. I've been saying they could put Hillary Clinton's brain in a jar in the Oval Office and she'd be elected. People are really sick. I think you know this deep in your soul, and this is why you get demoralized here on this very set. Yeah, I shouldn't. Yeah. People are sick. How they've got here, you've been done a wonderful arc over m almost decades now explaining why people are and have become so sick. That being said, People are willing to be made over in the image of these corporations. The reason there's so much anger online also is the, a, a newspaper like the Washington Post will leave a comment section. They don't care what you're saying. They don't care what you're thinking. That's why you get this anger that, oh, I, I have to be, a, you know, I'm out here as a citizen and I'm operating on, in their playground. Make your own playground. The reason I'm here, Alex, is you've made your own playground. This is a figment of your imagination. The, and the Drudge Report is mine. It is a very simple thesis. You are what you dream you are and become. And I wish Americans would get out of the sickness and just become m greater. And well, that's profound. I mean, because if we start creating our own maps, our own world, our own vision, then there's no way for these cultural tyrants to program us. And that's why they're pushing so hard to get more outrageous. I mean, is this the beginning of the end? And to operate in their playgrounds. So you become famous on YouTube. That's ridiculous. I'm not saying you. I'm saying the 13-year-old that just died that they're saying is the first YouTube star that died. You're playing in Google's help it. No, I agree, but I've make invaded all Make your own those. place. Make your own. The internet allows you to make your own dynamic, your own universe. Why are you gravitating towards somebody else's universe? And this is kind of, again, where Drudge to me, when I look at it right now, is a correction to this groupthink that has... Oh, I totally agree with what no you're saying. There's no difference from any of these websites. You go 
up and down. We talk about this. What's the